So there is no doubt that there is an entire group of people targeting me because they don't like that I've come forward and questioned the entire narrative over what happened to Isaac Cappy. I want to point out in all of this that I didn't know any of these people existed until six months ago. Or at least Phoenix Enigma, the Goblin Dowd, Captain Underpants, Thomas, the Crazy One, Mathow. <clears throat> There's a whole list. I knew all about Doug Mesner. Doug Masico, a.k.a. Doug Mesner, a.k.a. Lucian Greaves, founder of the Satanic Temple. I was battling him before I published my book. I ended up publishing my book in 2012. But I had a blog way before that. And obviously it took me a while to write the book. So I've been at this for quite some time. I just got asked by someone that I ended up blocking... Why don't I deal? Why did I block Emily Thorne? Why did I block Skills? Emily Thorne and Skills are the same people. They've been going after me along with Doug Mesner. Doug Mesner, a.k.a. Lucian Greaves. I was complaining to the Algona police that I was being driven crazy by people in my neighborhood. They ended up taking out a protection order on me in Kent, Washington. But if you look at that Kent, Washington protection order, all of those videos listed on that protection order had zero to do with the petitioners. Absolutely nothing. I said nothing about them. But who I did talk about in every one of those videos was Doug Mesner, a.k.a. Lucian Greaves, founder of the Satanic Temple, who, unbeknownst to me, was living 23 miles away from me in Tacoma, Washington. And I didn't know this for four years. I didn't know this until I got back to Iowa. So I had dealt with this group for a long time. That's how I know what Doug is involved with. That's why I am sounding the alarm with this say, after-school satanic after-school daycare bullshit. And he does not have the same argument that Aquino had in the 80s and 90s. Aquino went around and said, I am a Satanist and you're just discriminating against me because of relig religious discrimination is against the law. But let me point out, Doug isn't a Satanist. He's an atheist. That's what he's on record telling everybody. They're, they don't believe in the devil. They are atheist. So it's not religious discrimination to investigate this dude. As far as Isaac Cappy, I didn't even know that this whole group around him existed until about six months ago. When I started talking about Isaac Cappy on my YouTube videos and I started to allow comments. For years I didn't allow comments. Because Doug Mesner and Emily Thorne, who's now calling herself Skills, blah, 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 and that whole group, it was nothing but day in and day out arguing. And they all argue like Thomas does. You say something they did and they'll flip it around and all of a sudden try to put you on the defensive of, oh, they won't even acknowledge what you said. Let me point something out about Thomas right now. This is for my police and the investigators who are involved with this. This dude, for four years, has gone on about how he doesn't like Sewer Town. How he's, they're conspiring against him and, oh, they're, they're mortal enemies. But now that Captain Underpants and the Goblin Dowd were dancing around, sending me pictures of my house and buildings in my town and claiming they were here at the exact same time that my best friend perishes, just drops over. Funeral a week later, you know? And now Thomas is, oh, well, Captain Underpants is on this Joyce person's podcast 
saying that, oh, well, I was just trying to terrorize him. I was just trying to terrorize him. The reason why is because the charges of terrorizing someone online, although illegal, are way different than murder charges. And that, it is what is warranted here. Murder charges. I don't think my best friend falling over and perishing at the same time that this, these two men are laughing at me, especially the night that my friend perished, and I didn't know about it until the next day at about noon. And they had already been just dancing around. I didn't understand why, what they were talking about until I found out. And so now they're going to dance around. But Thomas, who's supposed to be their mortal enemy, now wants everyone, well, this dude who's lied all for four years is now telling the truth. And he is busy trying to defend Captain Underpants. Everyone who has come forward and questioned the narrative over Cappy has perished. There are several. Isaac Cappy himself said that he was in no way self-destructive. And if anything happened to him, he didn't do it to himself. The day before he ended up off that bridge. The funny thing about it in that live Periscope video that he was doing is that every time he said that, you could hear someone in the background hurting his dog. Every single time. And who has had complete control over the entire narrative over Isaac Cappy since he perished? This group. Who has descended upon me and is doing hour-long power and podcasts and fucking video after 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 video who's emailing me over and over and over this group and they started because I started to question the narrative over Isaac Cappy's passing because their narrative, if you take your logical mind to it, is ridiculously stupid. It doesn't even make sense. Obviously, there's a problem here. The very last question I'm going to ask is this group that Isaac was trying to expose, who ended up helping him perish. Everyone knows it. Did they just go away? And this group, who's had complete control over the narrative, they're totally fine. Phoenix Enigma, who did this investigation, has bought a farm and is raising goats and his whole life is just luxury and wonderness. Email after email. My police and investigators have all those emails. So how is that possible that he wasn't even touched. And yet anyone who has questioned the narrative around this group has perished. They don't teach critical reasoning anymore. And it's obvious. Because simplistic things that are right there in front of you, most of you can't even see. And it is sad and I don't know what else to say they are on top of me making my life a living fucking hell they just took out one of my friends they're threatening to take out all my dogs they've admitted they've been in my house I've done videos where they tried to come in my house when Owen's funeral was happening they didn't realize I was home they thought I'd be at the funeral that's how I caught that shit on video. They didn't realize I was downstairs making a video. What will it take? What will it take? Because 